guys! Today I'm going to show you my April favorites for obviously the month of April. So I have a few um, clothing items, a few food items, a few beauty items I guess. So let's get, just get into it and I will show you what I enjoyed for the month of April. Okay, so for movies I've been enjoying The Neighbors. Um, my husband and I watched it this month um, for his birthday. We bought the DVD a while ago but just never got the chance to watch it. So we watched it for his birthday and it was hilarious. I really enjoyed it. Um, we really like Seth Rogen and a lot of the things that he's in. So this is really, really funny. If you haven't seen it yet, watch it because it's really, really funny if you like a comedy. Um, for other movies that I've been enjoying, I recently went to the movie theater and saw The Last Ride. Um, it's that movie that's based off of a Nicholas Sparks book. I went with one of my female friends to watch it, and it was really, really good. I laughed, I cried, you know, the typical Nicholas Sparks movie, but I really, really loved it. And now I kind of want to read the book, so if you've read the book and it was good, let me know in the down bar how you liked it. Okay, so for beauty products, I've really been enjoying the Beautiful Day um, Body Mist by Bath & Body Works. Um, I really like this scent in general, but um, I have the body wash for it too. And um, But I spray this and I wear this. This is my everyday kind of body spray. I tend to go towards a body spray more than a perfume simply because my husband gets... Um, like allergies when it comes to like an overwhelming scent like it bothers him he can't really stand a, an overpowering scent so I tend to wear more body spray than perfume so that I don't bother him so um, I do a couple sprays of this in the morning when I'm getting ready and it lasts all day it smells good it's a pleasing scent it's not a scent that's overpowering or smells too strong or musty I can't stand when it's very um, overpowering so this is a nice scent and um, it, because it's it's more like a spring scent, but I wear it year round, so but I really really enjoy this. My second beauty product for the month of April that's been my favorite is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. Um, it's got broad spectrum and SPF 15, and this is in the shade Fair to Light. I'm very pale, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> so um, I really, really enjoy this BB cream. Um, on the days that I don't wear foundation, I put this on just to kind of even out my skin tone. Um, it's a, a, obviously a light coverage because it's a BB cream, but it covers just enough and it makes your skin look kind of evened and not washed out. So I really, really enjoy this. And this is a pretty big tube and it's lasted me almost a year. So I'm really, really enjoying this. If you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. Okay, so now I have a hair product. This is the Dream Waves Beach Spray by Mark Anthony. This is the trial size. I got this in one of my subscription boxes. I wanna say it was Glossy Box. I'm not sure though. It was a few months ago. I've had this for a while. Um, I wanna say I've had it since last summer, actually, because I used it a lot last summer. In fact, it's almost gone. I really gotta find this and purchase it in the real size. Um, so pretty much it's a beach spray and it creates sexy, tousled... Um, it smells like coconut. It smells amazing. And um, I do a couple sprays and then I kind of scrunch my hair and it gives me this nice kind of beachy wavy effect that I really, really like. And um, even if I didn't crunch it, I'd probably still spray this on my hair just for the scent because it smells like coconut and it smells amazing like you're on an island vacation and it, it, I think the scent lasts pretty, uh, pretty much all day because I find at times when I'm bored that I sniff my hair to see if it still smells like coconut. So I definitely need to repurchase this in the big size because it's almost out. So next for my April favorites, I have the Camille Beckman Platinum Gold Imperial Repair Hand Therapy. Well, that's a mouthful. Um, it's in the scent Lemongrass and Sparkling Grapefruit. Um, I love this hand cream. I'm not a huge hand cream person, but um, this past winter and fall, I've been getting really, really dry in between my fingers, um, especially near my rings and everything. So at night, I take my rings off, I put this lotion on it, and it smells amazing. I, I cannot even put into words how good this smells. It's just like a nice, fresh scent. 
So um, I put this on my hands at night before I go to sleep, and when I wake up in the morning, they're not dry, they're nice, they're rejuvenated, they're, they're not dry anymore. So um, I really, really love this. And again, this is a trial size. I got this in the subscription box, too. I want to say I got this in Glossy Box. I think it was Glossy Box as well, which is cool because that means I got both of these from Glossy Box. So shout out to Glossy Box. Um, so I really, really like this, and I need to purchase it in the full size because I think I'm like halfway gone in this now. So my last kind of beauty healthcare product, I guess, is the Pink Chiffon Luxury Bubble Bath from Bath & Body Works. Um, this smells amazing. <sighs> It smells great, and um, I love, I take bubble baths every Sunday night, that's kind of like my mommy wind down time, I have a glass of wine, I read my Kindle in the, in the bubble bath, so I really stocked up on bubble bath the last time I was at um, Bath and Body Works, I think I hauled that actually, and um, I have decided to try the pink chiffon before I tried any of the other scents, and I'm glad I did because it smells really, really good, it really gives me that feeling of total spa relaxing on Sunday night so I'm just trying to unwind before I start another busy work week so I'm really really enjoying that so next I have clothing favorites first is this lightweight sweater from Air Apostle. so it's this gray color and it kind of resembles a hoodie it's got a hood but the sleeves have this gorgeous detail. It's like this see-through flowered pattern. So I hauled this, I think, in my first haul video ever. And um, this is just so comfortable. I, If I could wear this every day, I would. Probably get a little stinky, though. But I love this. It's so comfortable. Um, the weather's been getting really nice here. and But the nights still get a little, little chilly. So if we're going out and we know we're going to be out past dark, um, then I'll bring this, throw it on, it keeps me warm, it's really, really soft and comfy, it's good just to lounge in, it's just an overall great lightweight sweater. I'm really, really happy I purchased this, and I kind of wish I purchased like five, because they're amazing. My other clothing favorite of the month is Victoria's Secret Leggings. I am addicted to Victoria's Secret Leggings, guys! I'm addicted! I have like three pairs of gray, four pairs of black, I have a pair of burgundy colored ones now. I kind of want every single color they come out with. Do they come out with more colors? If they do, let me know because I am so addicted. These are the most comfortable leggings I have ever worn in my life and they just come to the perfect size. I'm very, very petite and um, a lot of times when I buy leggings, they're either too long or too short or they're going up my butt crack. But these fit so perfectly, and I like that they're a thicker legging. I do not like wearing paper-thin leggings. I don't like feeling like anything can pop out at any time. Um, so I'm uh, so obsessed with these leggings. Every time I go into Victoria's Secret, I feel like I'm buying more. Um, I, I'm just so addicted to these, it's not even funny. I think I have an addiction to Victoria's Secret leggings. So now I have my food favorite of the month of April. Um, this bag is open because I was munching on these earlier, but these are the Stacy's Pita Chips in the flavor Simply Naked, which is nothing but sea salt. And what? I'm so obsessed with these, it's not even funny. They're so good, they're so better for you than chips, and this is one of my go-to favorite snacks lately. I don't even dip them in anything. I mean, I guess you could dip them in hummus or any other kind of dip that you really wanted to, but I simply just eat them as is, as like a chip. I put a little baggie in my lunchbox for work. Um, I'm, I'm addicted. I'm so addicted. It's not even funny. I'm addicted. My second food favorite of the month is this sea salted popcorn from Big Lots. It's a Fresh Finds brand from Big Lots. And as you can see, it's only $1.90. And do you see the size of this bag? This is insanely huge. This is a monster bag of popcorn. But this is amazing popcorn. It tastes just like popcorn that you would cook in the microwave. But guess what? You don't gotta cook it in the microwave. It comes as is and it tastes 
amazing. And can you can you see this right here? It says only 35 calories per cup. And it's got no GMOs, it's gluten-free, it is amazing. And when you eat it, you can't tell that it's gluten-free or that it's only 35 calories per cup. It just tastes like damn good popcorn. So this is my go-to snack when I'm sitting on the couch, watching TV, whatever, because it's only 35 calories per cup. And it is amazing, and it's $1.90. I'm sorry, everything about this is amazing. Um, so if you haven't tried this, get your butt down to a Big Lots and try it, because this is amazing, absolutely amazing. And you don't need to feel guilty for eating it. This is like a, a, a mother's blessing right here. This, this right here, I love this popcorn. Okay, my last kind of food and beverage favorite is a wine. Um, I'm not a huge wine drinker, and I wasn't until I got introduced to this wine. Um, it's Mia Dulcia. It's a Moscato di Asti. Um, it's a white wine. The bottle's gorgeous, is it not? I love this bottle. I wish I could figure something out to do with the bottle. If you have any ideas, let me know in the down bar. Um, so I absolutely love this wine. It is amazing. It tastes like apple cider, but better. Um, it is the most amazing wine I've ever had in my life. And this is what I drink on Sunday nights in my bubble bath while I'm reading a book and whatever. It, it is amazing. I, I'm so addicted to this wine. And they have a pink one too. But I tried the pink one and I wasn't as much of a fan as I am of the blue bottle. So the blue bottle... Moscato di Asti, Mia Dulcia is the bomb. Make sure you try this. It is amazing. I can't stress enough. I'm drinking it right now. It is amazing. So for my music favorites of the month, I'm really, really obsessed with Ed Sheeran's album Multiply. Um, I have that playing in my car on repeat. Every single song on that album is amazing. I love Ed Sheeran in general, but um, that album is amazing and I'm listening to it all the time in the car. My husband gets in the car, he asks me to change it because he's so tired of hearing Ed Sheeran, but I'm just addicted to it. His voice is like butter. I love it. So if you haven't listened to that album, go ahead and try it. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to talk about my favorite TV shows for the month of April. Um, I'm really into um, Lip Sync Battle lately. My husband and I watch that on Thursday nights at 10 o'clock. Um, it's kind of just a good show to give you a good laugh. Um, so we've been enjoying that lately. Um, another show that him and I really like to watch together is Amazing Race. We watch it, we, um, he works on Friday night, so we record it on our DVR and we watch it over the weekend. But, um, we really, really love The Amazing Race, so that's another one of my favorites. Um, I'm also really into, um, Bar Rescue lately. I can't get enough of Bar Rescue. John Taffer is amazing. Um, so I really, really like that lately. I'm also really into um, Rain lately. If you haven't seen that, it's on the CW Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. And it is amazing. It's about, it's a fictionalized ver version of um, Mary Queen of Scots. And it's in the second season. The first season was on last year. But I'm so addicted to this show. It's so good. Every other show that I watch, because I watch more than that, obviously. I can record and watch days later and not really care. Not rain. Um, I have to watch it Thursday nights. If I'm working and I get home late, I, I watch it before I go to bed. I'm so addicted. I cannot wait to watch the next episode. It's almost done for the season. It's got a couple episodes left and it is amazing. And I wouldn't necessarily think that I would be somebody that would really enjoy period piece TV shows, but I'm obsessed with Rain. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it because it is amazing. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about my books for the month of April. Um, I've really been enjoying If I Stay by Gail Coleman. Um, I'm reading it on my Kindle, so I don't have an actual book to show you, but it's amazing. I watched the movie last year in the movie theater with one of my friends and went to saw it in the movies and it was amazing and it made me want to read the book so I started reading the book shortly after I saw the movie and I think I forgot that I was reading a book because I put it down and didn't touch it for a few months but I picked it up again recently and I it was it was amazing I can't wait to read the second book in the series I don't know is it a series if it's only two books 
I don't know. But either way, so If I Stay was amazing. It's a good read. It'll make you cry. It's, it's an amazing book. So if you haven't read it, go ahead and read it. So that's all I've, I've been enjoying for the month of April. Please let me know what you've been enjoying in the month of April, and have a good night.